Hi guys, welcome to another pick a card. Um, this is going to be a pick a card for uh, who is coming towards you in love. Uh, well, m welcome to Tenacious Soul. My name is Johanna. <laughs> um, so we have three piles today. So feel free to choose the pile that you feel the most drawn to. We have three different crystals for each pile. Um, so one thing I want to say about this reading is that um, it is about who's coming towards you, which means that it may not resonate at this moment. This might be something that you watch and maybe it resonates a little bit down the line. Um, but if you feel like it's not resonating, feel free to check out one of the other piles. Try to pick one if you can, um, but there may be sometimes two piles that you feel drawn to or you feel drawn to one more than a little bit of the other, but they're both kind of, um, you might have some messages in both. So feel free to kind of check out what you feel you need to. Um, so we have group number one here with the um, Solidite, sorry, yeah, Satellite Tower. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out how to say these. So that's pile number one. Pile number two has the Howlite Tower. And then pile number three has the Lepidolite, I believe is how you say it. So intuitively choose which pile you feel the most drawn to. Um, timestamps will be down below. If you need to pause the video to choose which pile uh, you feel you are being drawn to, then feel free to do so now. Um, but otherwise, I will see you guys in your reading. Hi, group number one. Welcome. If you chose this pile, you chose the blue uh, satellite, I believe is how it's pronounced. <laughs> Um, so this is going to be your reading for who is coming towards you in love. Um, so I have pre-pulled some oracle cards here and then we're going to pull some psychic tarot for the heart oracle and then we're also going to pull some tarot from the fountain tarot deck as well. Okay, so let's kind of get into it. Um, like I said in the beginning, if you heard me, it's um, that this might not resonate fully right now as it can be who's coming towards you. So it can be a little bit uh, predictive, I guess, in that sense. So it may be something that maybe doesn't make sense fully right now, but it might make sense later on uh, kind of down the line. So let's see who is uh, coming towards you. So we have Mars Force, which is Aries energy. We have Forge, Don't Follow, Pave a New Path, Be the Leader You Wish You Had. We have Big Picture Thinking, Pallades Energy, Visionary, Inspired Ideas. And we have Doubt, I Release the Need to Know All of the Answers. Okay. So... I do feel like um, there's like an intensity around the person that I feel is coming in towards you. I feel like they could be somebody who uh, very much likes to have control of a situation or they could be a, uh, they could be a person who um, kind of like has an authoritative role in their job is what I want to say as well. Like I feel like this person is some sort of an, a leader, somebody that people listen to. Um, they could have big ideas as well with this big picture thinking. So I, that for some of you what I'm getting is they're either in an authority position um, with their job or they could even be like an entrepreneur, like somebody who kind of like thinks outside the box. I feel like they're very innovative, they're very creative, but I also feel like they're very um, aggressive or strong in how they kind of approach things when it comes to... Um, Kind of they're just like their their approach to a situation can sometimes be intense like I feel like for some people it might kind of turn people off on how this person typically is um, but I feel like probably for you guys I feel like it doesn't really bother you I feel like you don't mind this person's personality um, I do feel like this person just has a little bit of an energy of like doing what they want when they want um, I feel like they have a lot of um, kind of like fire energy with them, honestly, because I'm getting like even like Ace of Wands energy with this um, Pallades energy. So it's like, there's a lot of fire, there's a lot of passion of this person, they could be very passionate, which can come across as aggressive to some people depending on kind of their personality. Um, 
either you or this person I feel tries to control and I feel like it could be this person because of all this fire energy they may have a bit of like that stubbornness of um, the Emperor is kind of what's coming up um, so they feel may feel like they have to control things or they, like everything is very systematic in their life as much as it's very they're very inspired and they take um, you know action towards things I feel like this person also could be very um, you know they don't like when things don't go their way is kind of what I'm getting and not in a bad way it's just that it really kind of throws them off they don't really like that so they do like to have planning and kind of um, you know feel secure and um, stable in how they approach things um, but they also um, they also I feel sorry I'm just getting like a ton of messages um, they also I feel like to take action on their own time like on terms like they may like, like to make that call like if it's if it's random when they decide to do it then it's okay but if it, if it's random when other people decide to do it it's not okay um so I feel like this person this person I feel the message I was getting was like this person might feel like thrown off by this connection um I feel like possibly some of you could have like been the first one to initiate this and I don't know if they really liked that in the sense that it took that control away from them, if that makes any sense. Um, so let's see if we can get more about your person here and who is coming towards you. Who is coming towards my group ones in love? Who is coming towards group ones in love spirit? Tell me about who is coming towards them. Who is coming towards group one in love? All right, we have rebuild. Yeah, I am getting that you do know this person. Um, or you have some sort of, this is the tower, which is also kind of that like force energy, right? Like this person I feel like is kind of like a, like a force to be reckoned with is <laughs> what just came to my mind. But I also feel like this person, um, this person just kind of comes in very aggressively. I feel like they, um, they're kind of almost like impulsive is almost what I want to say. But again, it's only okay if things are impulsive when they say it's okay. They don't like when other people do that to them. They have a hard time when... You know, like they seem reckless to other people, but in their mind, <laughs> they've got it all figured out. It's kind of an interesting person. They kind of make me laugh. Um, all right. Let's see. What else? Uh, tell me about this person that's coming towards group one here, spirit. Who is coming towards group one? All right. So we have Seek which is the hermit. So we have the tower. We have all major arcana here. Wow. Okay. So we have the tower. We have the hermit. Um, we have the moon confront and we have the star, I believe, which is heal. I think that's the star. I feel like it is. Um, I can't remember. <laughs> we have choose your battles, uh, which is, I believe, the seven of wands. If it's not the seven of wands, it's the seven of swords. But I feel like it's more, it's embodying more of a seven of wands energy. So I feel like this is definitely a person I feel like you're not talking to at this point, or you haven't talked to in a little while if you are talking to them. Um, and I feel like there is a need to kind of like rebuild this connection with this person. I feel like they've been kind of on their own. They've been kind of seeking and kind of, um, you know, kind of really going within. And again, it's like they like to do things their own way. Um, I was picking up that there is like an earth energy to this person, like Capricorn or Virgo, I want to say. Um, because I feel like they're very innovative and very creative when it comes to their, their career. Um, I am getting like strong entrepreneurial type energy, which is I think why I was picking up like Capricorn energy. Um, but there is this Virgo energy here as well. We have Scorpio and then we have Aquarius and we have, um, Cancer Pisces with the moon. 
I feel like, so basically we have all the water signs and we have Aquarius and we have Virgo, Capricorn, Aries. I feel like um, this person, while they've been separate from you, I feel like they've really been kind of like looking at things. They've been looking at um, the things that they've kind of been hiding for them, from themselves. Um, they've been maybe trying to figure out like why this situation bothers them or why... Um, it's like they've been thinking very deeply about things. They've been looking at the bigger picture of things. They're not just kind of looking at what's in front of them. They're really kind of taking their time to kind of um, look at the whole aspect of this connection. And I feel like they are trying to heal this aspect of themselves that tries to control things. Um, now, some of this of what I'm saying could also resonate with you guys because I am getting that this doubt, the need to know all the answers, I feel like could be both of you a little bit. Uh, you both could have this like tendency um, and a lot of times that that type of feeling comes in when there's like a fear of not knowing where things are going or a fear that you could lose this it's like we try to control it we try to hold on to it more right which doesn't always um, which doesn't always help but I do feel like this person has a very again like four major arcana like this person has a big big energy but I don't feel like it's in a bad way I kind of feel like I feel like you guys really appreciate it. other people might not appreciate it but I feel like you guys actually appreciate this person's energy um they can be like a little bit aggressive like I feel like you two definitely probably uh if you've known each other for a while it's like you definitely probably have had had it out with this person in arguments before but I also feel like you don't really back down from a fight either so I feel like it kind of like you guys say your piece and it, it just you move on you kind of move on from it so um I feel like this person it does kind of have like a my way or the highway energy to them and if you don't know this person <laughs> get ready no I'm just kidding they uh they will try to like, they like to ha take the lead. They don't really like to be told what to do. If this is a man, it's kind of like, they either have a very like old school vibe to them, right? A very traditional aspect to them. Or they could even be very um, like kind of alpha. And if this is a woman, I just feel like she's very, very strong, very independent. And I also feel like she would be somebody who... Um, I also feel like she would be somebody who, like, again, is a boss, has her own business, very much has things in control in her everyday life. So when something comes in and kind of throws her off, um, you know, from a romantic side of things, it's like there's a little bit of, like, not feeling secure in that. They don't like to give, whoever this person is, they don't like to give control to the other person um, or just to other people, I would say. They're probably like that in their career, too. So let's see how this person feels about you, group one. How is group one's person who's coming towards them going to feel? We have the hermit. Okay, the hermit is out here twice now. Again, another major arcana. How does this person feel? Page of cups. We have the eight of cups and we have the chariot. Ace of pentacles. So I feel like this person, again, they kind of keep to themselves they do have something that they want to offer you here, but they're trying to figure out, I feel like, what that is. Um, and again, it's like with the Page of Cups, I do get it. It's like they're holding back a little bit, but they want to be the ones to ask you out. They kind of want to take control of the situation. I don't really feel like it's a bad way. I've, in a bad way, I just feel like they, <laughs> they just don't like when they don't know what's happening. I feel like what this person has to offer is legit with the Ace of Pentacles here at the bottom. Um, but again, they need to make the choice to come towards you with the Eight of Cups. They may be also like leaving something else or even just leaving some sort of like an emotion or a mindset or even fears, leaving some sort of a fear behind that they're noticing um, that in order to take inspired action towards you, they have to kind of let something go. They have to walk a new path. They have to kind of enter this new phase of their life in order to be able to move forward here with the chariot. Um, I do see this person doing a lot of healing work, which is helping them come forward. So again, it's like, I feel like this person also wants to be the first, they want to make the move because they, 
I think they're kind of maybe holding back because they still have some healing to do with the hermit here. I feel like they know that too. I feel like they're very conscious and very aware of that. Um, yeah, I just feel like this person knows that they have to kind of almost like heal their heart and rebuild, rebuild something within them. Maybe it's like even the courage with the Mars energy, like, because Mars is like the first house, it's, it's Aries, right? Like it's all of that type of an energy. And so I feel like there's something within themselves that they have to kind of heal and fix. And they, I feel like they know that. So this person I feel does feel like they, they do want to move forward. They do want to offer you something legit. But again, if they have to heal something or they feel like they're not, they're not quite ready yet, then they're going to hold off until they feel ready to move forward. Because I feel like they're maybe going through something or they're, they're needing to walk a new kind of path here. And so that's why there could be this like resistance here with this choose your battles. So let's see what this, um, this person's actions are going to be towards you, group one. What are the actions of group one's person going to be towards them? What are the actions of this person going to be towards them? So we have temperance. Queen of Cups. What are their actions going to be, Spirit? Group one and the person coming towards them. We have the Fool. Yeah. And we have the Eight of Wands. Queen of Wands here at the bottom or at the top there as well with the moon. So once they can kind of acknowledge their feelings and kind of work through this moon energy, because it's the second time the moon has come up, once they kind of balance themselves out, this person I feel is going to possibly even make a bigger offer. We go from the page of cups to the queen of cups. So I feel like this person is going to, it might even take time for this person to really kind of open up to you, like fully. So it might start out as something small. You might kind of start out just kind of, slowly dating this person this person's going to be kind of slow to express themselves until they fully have gone through this change and this transformation of the moon here and with the eight of cups again it's like walking in this new path um i wasn't really getting it's like they're walking away it's more that they're walking a new path or they need to walk a new path but again they need to heal and look at something with this confront in the moon it's like really kind of look at themselves and figure out where am I going is this is this matching where I want to be or do I need to move in a new direction here and I feel like this person I feel like is gonna things are gonna feel I feel move very fast with this person the chariot the eight of wands um, again once they've healed things are gonna move very quickly and I feel like um, there's going to be a lot of communication with this person too. Like, again, I feel like page of cups to the queen of cups, this person's going to, um, you know, kind of increase the amount that they're giving to this situation. They're going to increase the amount of emotion that they're sharing with you and how they feel. But again, they have to be the ones to open up to you. You have to kind of let them go through that process because I feel like, um, I feel like they kind of have to do it on their own timeline, if that makes sense. So just be patient with this person, especially with that temperance. Be patient with them. Um, and with the doubt card, that could be you guys, right? Like having this doubt of like, I don't know where this is going because this person doesn't really open up to me a whole lot. And so I feel like it's just, again, being patient, just kind of going with the flow so that this person can kind of take the time that they need in order to come forward. Because I feel like... I feel like they're either going through something or they're coming out of something. I feel like they've already been doing a lot of healing work, but I feel like they meet you and they're like, oh my gosh, I'm not there yet. I'm not ready yet. You know, it's kind of that energy. They want to be ready, but I feel like it's, it's a little bit, um, it's a little bit challenging for this person is kind of what I feel. So, um, what else does group one's person who's coming towards them want them to know? What is what else does group one's person coming towards them want them to know? Is there anything else we need to know here? We have the four of wands. What else do we need to know here? The king of cups. And we have the ten of coins. Okay, and we have the four of coins. So as much as maybe sometimes it feels like it's not going anywhere, there might be a struggle to kind of get things off the ground with this connection. 
Um, I do feel like this person has really good intentions. Um, I feel like this person, again, it's like they're working on themselves. They're um, mastering their emotions here with this King of Cups so that they can offer you something stable. Four of Wands and the Ten of Pentacles. They want to offer you something stable. I feel like they want something kind of more long term. And I feel like, again, it's like they're they're evolving emotionally, this person. And so you have to kind of give this person time. I also feel with the Queen of Cups, it's like there's a need for even you to kind of nurture this connection a little bit. Again, be patient with this per person, kind of meet them on the same level. Because I feel like this person is going to kind of meet you where you're at eventually. You just have to give them time. Time is what I'm getting the most. And I feel like this person struggles with that because they always want to rush and take action. And like, I feel like there's a part of them that's telling them to slow down a little bit. Um, but yeah, I don't really feel like, I feel like this person has good intentions. I don't really get anything negative from this person. I feel like if anything, the negative attribute or the negative aspect of this connection is more of like, it could be a little bit slow to kind of get off the ground and it makes you doubt it or it makes this other person doubt. There's some sort of doubt within this connection because it maybe takes someone a little bit longer than the other to really kind of open up here. I do feel like they want to open up here, but again, they're kind of like having to work on something here. I feel there could have been something maybe in their past that has kind of closed them off emotionally. There's like also a, a, a trust factor here, especially with that doubt card. It's like there's a trust factor where this person might not trust people with their emotions. And so it takes them a little while to open up. So that's mainly what I'm getting for you guys. Um, hopefully that resonates. Again, this could be a totally new person that you have not met yet, or this could be somebody that you already know. It kind of depends um, on your situation, but hopefully it resonated in some capacity, gave you some clarity, or um, it might be something that comes forward in the future. If it you feel like it didn't resonate, feel free to check out the other two piles. Um, feel See which one you know you kind of feel pulled to next. Um, but I feel like overall this person has some good intentions, so I'm not too, too worried about it for you guys. I feel like you just have to be kind of patient with this person and vice versa. I feel like the two of you just really have to kind of like learn how to work together. And like again, like choose your, choose your battles, right? Like don't start arguments and don't try to push this person if it's not necessary, right? Just kind of go with the flow. So that is what I have for you group one. Hopefully that resonated. Uh, let me know down below if it did. Again, if you have suggestions for other types of readings you'd like to see, um, definitely pop those down below in the comment section as well. I'll definitely take a look at those. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye. Hi, group number two. Welcome. If you chose this pile, you chose the Howlite crystal. So the white crystal here. Um, so this is going to be your reading for who is coming towards you in love. I've pre-pulled some oracles uh, here already and then we are going to pull from the Psychic Tarot of the Heart Oracle, I believe is what it's called, and then the traditional Manga Tarot as well. We're going to pull some tarot cards from there, okay? So let's kind of see where we go. Um, like I said in the beginning, this is something that might not necessarily resonate with you right this moment as it could be a little bit predictive because it's who's coming towards you. So keep that in mind. Um, but you may still, if you know this person, you may be able to kind of pick up on who it might be or if it's resonating for you. Okay. So just kind of keep that in mind as the reading goes along. If you're feeling like it's not resonating, feel free to check out the other readings. Okay. So we have Jupiter Abundance which that could be Pisces or Sagittarius energy there. We have star bathing, light body, crystal grid, transmission and activation. We have star keeper, cosmic ancestor, seed the light by staying grounded. And we have friendship. I understand that a friend is in my life for a reason. Interesting. So strong soulmate energy here, first of all, is kind of what I wanna say. Um, this person could be a friend or maybe one of you has been friend zoned, <laughs> um, but it could be a friend or somebody that you just kind of know, like a mutual acquaintance. Um, I feel like this person, um, I don't know, there's something within either you or them that kind of like activates something. It could be kind of either, or I feel like this person is very grounded, but also like very, um, I don't know, there's kind of like an interesting 
aspect to this person. They seem a little bit um, different. I don't know, but not in a bad way. Like, I don't know if they're different from your usual type. I feel like this person does very well. They're very abundant. But I also feel like they... Um, I feel like they might actually like to um, kind of like... What's the word I'm looking for? Um gift you a lot like I feel like they might kind of come in and, and always try to um, give you the best right like there's somebody who very much like overindulges in in some of that is kind of what I want to say like they might be somebody who's very giving um, but I also feel like this person activates a different part of you that you haven't really experienced so this is going to be an, a relationship here that comes in that's very different it could be non-conventional in some aspect whatever that means to you it could just be from your traditional type or your traditional type of relationship maybe what your family's type of relationships go through but I feel like um it's easy to kind of get caught up with this person I feel as well so you do need to kind of stay grounded um, I do feel like there is a strong earthy friendshipy type energy like there's a strong connection here it's like this is the type of person that you would be with who you call your best friend. You know, this is that type of a relationship where, you know, your partner, whoever you're with, is also your best friend. There's like a very strong connection here. Um, it's not just about the relationship in the sense of the, how do I want to put it? Kind of the emotional lovey-dovey type stuff. Like I feel like there's a strong foundation here or there will be. And again, I feel like I feel like you both kind of get charged off of this relationship. I feel like it's very equal. It's very balanced and give and take. It's very grounded, right? Um, and I feel like you guys could definitely have a lot of abundance together or this relationship could be very abundant in, you know, love or emotion or how you guys feel towards each other. But I feel like it's very balanced. It's not... It's not like there's abundance, but like someone's over giving all the time. I feel like it's very um, cohesive in that where it's like the two of you really kind of... Um, get along but also again give and take equally towards each other so interesting message I feel like too this person could be teaching you a lot as well or teaching you something um, and I don't know if it's a different way of relationships like this person's showing you that I don't know if you've had bad relationships in the past and this person's going to show you that you know they don't all have to be that way so tell me more about group two's person that's coming towards them. Who is coming towards group two? Who is coming towards group two spirit in love? Who is coming towards group two in love? Who is coming towards group two in love spirit? We have opportunity beckons in reverse. Interesting. We have strengthening bonds in the upright. I can't remember if the strengthening bonds is the Ace of Pentacles or not. I think it is. Tell me more about this person coming towards group two in love. Tell me about this person coming towards group two in love. We have control in reverse. Okay, that kind of makes sense with that card there if ahead of it. Let's get one more here. Can I get one more here? Thank you. And crown chakra, which I saw before. Again, a very strong connection with this person. Bottom of the deck, we have heal. I had that in the last one. I think it's the star. But honestly, it could be um, the hanged man. I can't remember which one's which. <laughs> um, okay, so I feel like, I don't know if there was a missed opportunity with this person or somebody maybe doesn't want to miss an opportunity. Somebody definitely wants to strengthen this connection for sure. I feel like there's definitely, like I feel like if you know this person, I don't feel like you've had a relationship with them yet. Because I do get a strong friendship vibe or somebody who you just have a strong connection with right now. Um, and it, it could even feel like you've known this person before. I feel like some of you too could even like, it's like you share sentences with this person. Like you guys are kind of like always on the same page. Um, 
kind of right it's like a very cute relationship is kind of what it's reminding me of which is interesting because I feel like this is not going to resonate with a lot of people but um there is kind of like an innocence but it's like it's it's like you're both starting to kind of come into this place of like oh maybe maybe this could work or maybe I should kind of go you know go after this um I feel like possibly one person specifically out of this connection wants to really kind of strengthen this. Um, and I feel like whoever that person is also has to kind of mind their energy because I feel like they could kind of lose control. This is the strength card. Um, I feel like they could be, it's like, this is underneath the grounded card, um, which tells me that they may kind of like be someone, and this could be you as well, who all of a sudden wants to really give, but they need to kind of hold back. So I don't know if one person has always kind of been interested in the other here. And I'm kind of getting that. It's like a, like a friendship thing where it's like, you know, you could be friends with someone and your one person has feelings for the other, but it's never really gone anywhere. There's always been a strong connection. I feel like you've always felt drawn to this person or they've always felt drawn to you. But there's also this element of like, it never really got off the ground. The opportunity maybe never arose. For some of you, this could be even be somebody that you have a strong connection with that you both could have been in relationships at opposite times or there was always something happening in your life where like this wasn't able to come together. But I feel like now you're being blessed with an opportunity here to kind of work things out with this person or someone's going to come forward here. Um, it's like a new beginning is being activated here between the two of you. And I think it'll be really easy to kind of dive into this, but we need to kind of like make sure that there's... Um, it's like, you got to kind of keep the balance, keep the relationship grounded, um, instead of like not, and I don't know if it's this person, either you're, you're really grounded and this person is the one who kind of like loses control a little bit, or it's, it's vice versa. They could be the grounded ones and you might be somebody who kind of gives to this too much. I feel like it could be them trying to stay grounded since this is more about them, this reading. Um, but I feel like all of a sudden there's like an opportunity. I mean, I'm seeing the lightning a lot in this Jupiter card, which reminds me of the tower. So it's like all of a sudden you're being blessed with an opportunity here with this person, or maybe all of a sudden this person sees the potential in this opportunity with you. Like they might all of a sudden have this activation, like, oh, I should really try to work on this with so-and-so, you know, my group twos. I should really kind of, maybe I should go and date so-and-so like maybe I should go and date this per you know group number two because you know we do have a strong connection and you know it's always been easy it's always been fun six of cups this could be somebody that you've known since childhood definitely like strong soulmate energy here and I mean anybody can be a soulmate right um I feel like somebody maybe had to have gone through a lot with this heel card in order to see this connection for what it really is so let's see how does group two's person feel uh, for them spirit how does group two's group two's person feel about them Wh whoever is coming towards them how do they feel about them how does group two's person who's coming towards them in love feel about them how does group two's person feel about them We have the lovers. Again, there's that like strong connection. But I always feel like there was a choice possibly that this like, it's like you were always there. This is definitely someone you've known for a while. Again, I don't think you had a relationship with them, but it's definitely somebody you've known. How else does group two's person feel who's coming towards them in love? Yeah, we have the eight of swords. Okay, interesting. We have the Ace of Pentacles, which I believe is this card um, here, the Strengthening Bonds card. Give me one more here. For how does Group Two's person feel? Seven of Cups. All right.
We have 10 of wands here at the bottom of the deck. So I feel like, again, there's a strong connection. I feel like all of a sudden this person's like, oh, but now they're kind of in their head about things. They feel called to come towards you and offer you um, this Ace of Pentacles, this opportunity, something that's grounded, right? Something that's stable. But I also feel like they're in their head about it. And I feel like it could be because they, it, it comes in very quickly for them or it like all of a sudden changes for them. Um, and it's almost like they're trying to decide, do I want to put the effort into this? And it's not in a bad way, but I feel like it's more of like, how is this going to work? Seven of Cups. Their emotions could be a little all over the place. I feel like they're kind of like analyzing the situation. Like, how do I, how do I navigate this? How do I move forward in this? Um, this person really, really wants to come forward here with this Ace of Pentacles. But again, they don't have the strength. The control card, which is the strength card, is in reverse, which tells me that they don't have the strength or the courage right now because they're really in their head. And I feel like all of a sudden they feel the strength of this connection. They feel the intensity of this connection. But this person needs to kind of figure out and they need to make a choice of whether they're going to let this opportunity disappear or whether they're going to take it and run with it. There is like an, an, a possibility that this person may run because they're afraid. Not, And I don't want to say run, but they'll just avoid a relationship with you. And maybe that's what they've done in the past and they, they, may, could, they may be just realizing that now. That they've They've made the conscious choice in the past to not go with this opportunity, to not uh, see this opportunity through. This could be an aspect of themselves that they're trying to heal or that they've, they've been healing themselves and now they realize like, oh man, it was like sitting in front of me this whole time kind of thing. I just couldn't see it. So let's see what their actions are going to be towards you, group twos. What are the actions of group two's person who's coming towards them going to be? We have the king of cups. <laughs> the nine of swords. The knight of wands. There's that urge that I was kind of picking up on that before. And we have the tower with the eight of wands. Okay. This person, uh, again, they have a lot of love for you, but they have to choose whether they're willing to express that, whether they're going to share that emotion with you. Um, they are, again, we have the eight of swords with the nine of swords. So they're, they're moving through the energy. I do see them moving through it. So they're going from the eight to the nine of swords. But again, there is that fear. There's a fear of starting this, and I think there's a fear of starting it because it's like, what if it ends? The tower did come out here, which I just dropped on the floor. Um, I get a strong feeling that this person's worried about losing you. I do feel like all of a sudden, too, they have like this very strong desire, and it's like, I think that might be why they're also trying to control themselves, because they do have this strong desire for you, but they also want to make sure what they offer you is something grounded and secure and stable. They don't want to give you that idea that this is all they want with this Knight of Wands, right? Um, so again, it's like, it's an impulsive thing. There's like no control here or they're lacking control or they feel this, like this urge to come towards you. But again, they're kind of in their head, which holds them back. I do feel like they are going to make a decision here. There's going to be some change in this relationship. We have the Eight of Wands here, which tells me that there's definitely going to be communication between the two of you. What's this tower? Can you clarify this tower, please, for their actions? What is this tower here in their actions for Group 2's person? And how they, uh, what their actions are going to be. Tell me about this tower, please, Spirit. Clarify this. The Emperor. So this person's all of a sudden going to make a decision and move forward. This person's going to take control of the situation. This person's going to end up having control 
um, it's almost like they're going to kind of boss up too. They're going to kind of take the reins and um, I feel like really kind of harness their emotions and get control of their emotions here. We have the Six of Wands. We have Justice here behind that with Death card the, or the Death card. So this tells me that this person is going to, there's going to be a shift in this connection and it, it could be towards this person expressing how they feel. Um, I feel like they're going to start to give you a lot of attention. So this person could all of a sudden be around a lot or they're texting you a lot. Um, you might feel like it comes out of the blue, but I feel like this person with the emperor knows exactly what they're doing. All right. And I do feel like this person's going to come towards you here with this Knight of Wands. But it might be kind of ran it might feel random <laughs> to you. This person's been thinking about it a lot, but it might feel random or kind of out of the blue that this person suggests something to you. So is there anything else that we need to know about who is coming towards group two in love? Is there anything else that we need to know about this person or that this person would like to share? We have the Six of Pentacles. So there's that like balance give and take I was talking about before. That grounded, balanced aspect. Ten of Wands. And we have the Devil. So somebody may need to let something go. We have the Sun here at the bottom of the deck. Um, so if one of you is still in a relationship or there's somebody in someone's life, there may be another person here blocking this connection from um, coming forward. So maybe it could be you that has, um, maybe you're seeing other people or maybe you're, maybe you're in another relationship. This person could be worried about expressing how they feel because you have somebody else or there's, they know that there's somebody else in your life. And I'm not getting like third party in the sense of like someone's being a player. It's just more that there's another person here that's kind of preventing this, um, this situation. Empress, Queen of Pentacles, Four of Pentacles, the Seven of Wands. judgment yeah like I feel like there's a decision here somebody could be holding back again there could be two people and this could be you having somebody or they could be in a relationship I feel like this there's a strong chance that this person could be in a connection um, but they're starting to realize their feelings for you but again they have to kind of hold back until this um, you know is kind of rectified and that could be the lovers too there could be a choice here that somebody has to make and this could be you or this other person but there's definitely a choice and i feel like there's a choice to move in a new direction here we have judgment the fool the six of swords and the sun this person's moving in a brand new direction and i feel like it's towards you um, or you're going to move in a new direction and like somebody's leaving somebody behind that's external to this reading so there's either like somebody's dating or maybe this person feels, this person could even feel like you, you don't need them. With the Empress and the Queen of Pentacles, they may feel like you don't need them. Um, and so there's something here that this person need, is healing that they're needing to kind of let go of with the devil here. So I do see this person coming forward. I see, I see there being communication kind of in the, near in the future, but it may be a little while until this person kind of figures out and gets out of their head. But I feel like whatever they have, to, if this person does come forward, Again, I feel like it's somebody who you have a strong connection with. If this person does come forward, I feel like uh, they will offer you something stable here. And I feel like it will be fun, too, with the Knight of Wands. Like, I feel like this person wants to have a good time with you. They want to enjoy their time with you. But it's also going to have a grounded element to it where it feels very stable and like a, a good connection in that sense. So that is what I have for you, Group 2. Hopefully that resonates for you guys. Um, thank you so much for watching. If not, you can check out one of the other readings. But... Um, yeah, I hope you guys have a wonderful day, <laughs> and uh, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye! Hi, group number three. Welcome. Um, if you chose this pile, you chose the purplish kind of crystal here. Um, it's called Lepidite? Lepidolite? <laughs> Something like that. Um, these are new, so I'm still trying to remember the names. Um, but yeah, if you chose this crystal, this is your pile. Um, this is going to be your reading for who is coming towards you in love. Um, like I said in the beginning, this definitely could be um, something that doesn't fully resonate right now as it can be a little bit predictive if it's somebody who you don't know. Um, if you do know this person, it may be a little bit familiar in 
maybe, um, you know, kind of what I have to say about the person or that sort of thing. So we'll kind of see. We'll see what comes up. Um, hopefully it's not too, too, like, crazy specific, but hopefully there's something you can definitely get out of today's reading, okay? So let's kind of see where we go. We have eighth house, ending and endings and beginnings. This is um, um, Scorpio. <laughs> Don't mind me. And we have I remember, soul plan, the faded life versus the destined life. And then we have trust. I accept that my inner voice will always guide me correctly. For some of you, this could be somebody that you're in a cycle with. Even like a karmic cycle, possibly, for some of you. I feel like a lot of you need to trust your intuition and trust that... Um, you need to trust what you feel. Because I feel like with this I remember, it's like there is some sort of gut feeling that you're getting, some sort of intuitive hit. Um, so pay attention to like if this person, whenever they come around, how you feel. Do you feel nervous all of a sudden? Do you feel um, anxious? Do you feel, um, you know, kind of like uneasy when this person comes around? Or do you feel happy, excited, that sort of thing? Because that can be a good indicator of whether this person is somebody who should be in your life or should not. For some of you, though, with this 8th house, endings and beginnings, this does talk about transformation, right? Because it's Pluto energy with Scorpio. Um, so I do feel like... I feel like for some of you with this... Um, there's like a new beginning, I feel, coming to possibly a relationship. This could be somebody brand new. This could be somebody who's different than your typical type. With that 8th house... I feel like you were meant to meet this person. You just have to trust that. And for some of you, you've gone through a lot of um, different types of relationships or endings in relationships. And I feel like you need to trust that you're going to find the right person as well. So let's see. Let's get a little more here. Who is coming towards my group threes? We have Detach, which is 11, which is um, Justice, I believe. Who, uh, tell me more about um, who's coming towards <laughs> my group threes. We have share the love, three of cups. Yeah, I'm getting like, it's somebody who you know. We have the nine of pentacles, well-deserved reward. I'll pick those up and then I'll get one more here. Give me a moment. All right. Um, interesting, because we have the Hierophant, we have the Eight of Pentacles, and we have uh, Spread Your Wings, which I believe is the Two of Wands, possibly. I feel like you guys learned a lot from this, this person. Again, there's a lot of transformative energy here. Let's get one more card. Thank you. We have Master, which is the Devil card, and it's in reverse, which is nice. Okay. So this is a connection here, or a person here, that I feel you definitely know. I feel like you've had past dealings with this person in some capacity. Uh, bottom of the deck, we have the Six of Cups, Simply Love. So it's definitely somebody from your past. I feel like um, this person does want to reconcile. I feel like they're more stable now, Nine of Pentacles. I feel like they're more stable in kind of their approach. Um, I feel like you need to trust that this person has changed. If you can't trust that this person has changed or you don't want this person to be back in your life, then you don't have to. Please don't feel that you need to um, take this person back if you don't want them to. Because I do feel like there was some sort of separation or ending here with this detach to a relationship. Somebody let somebody go. And it could have been you is kind of what I'm getting. I feel like you really let this person go and you were kind of like, okay, well, if it's meant to happen, it'll come back. It's like, I'm, I'm getting that like, I forget what the, how the saying specifically goes, but they talk about like, you know, what you set free, whatever's meant for you will always come back to you kind of thing. So I feel like there is this sense of like letting something go and it coming back towards you, but in a better manner. 
Um, with the devil here in reverse, I feel like this person has really kind of done some healing work, really kind of let things go. They've really done a lot of work. And um, I feel like now it's like they've it's like they've mastered a part of themselves that was toxic to this connection. Um, some of you... Some of you, it's just like this person... I don't know if they were like not confident before or um there was something here with this person that was very it kept them very stuck like see how his heart is like very it's in in this little box i feel like this person was not one to express they could have been very detached Right? And I feel like now it's like they actually want to come back together. I'm not sure though if you fully feel that way. I'm not sure if you fully feel like you'll trust this person even. That could be part of it. Um, now this person could also be trusting themselves now more. So you could be dealing with a Scorpio. We have Capricorn. We have Libra. So let's see, what is this person, how does this person feel who's coming towards group three in love? How does this person feel towards my group threes? We have the Queen of Pentacles. How does this person feel? How does this person feel? We have the Sun. We have the Seven of Pentacles, and we have the Ace of Pentacles, okay. Bottom of the deck, we have the Page of Wands. Again, this person, it does want to spark up communication, I feel, with you. I feel like they want to nurture this situation. They want this situation to grow, and they, they want it to be more stable with this Ace of Pentacles. They want a brand new beginning, Ace of Pentacles in the Sun. They, this person definitely wants a brand new beginning. I feel like they see you as their counterpart. I feel like for some of them as well, this person may have felt with this nine of pentacles and the seven of pentacles, this person may have felt like they didn't have enough. They may have felt like financially they weren't in a place to give to you what you what they felt you deserved. I know that's not really for them to choose, but that's maybe how they felt, like they weren't able to give. I feel like financially they feel more stable now and that they're able to offer you something, they're able to look after you financially it's like they may have needed to kind of turn their financial situation or just their stability in life um they may, some of you and what i'm getting is like i don't know like something about a home needing to like have a home or something like that before they kind of really committed to you but i feel like they they see i feel like they always saw kind of the connection between the two of you. I feel like they always knew that. Especially with this I remember, like this person always knew that they had strong feelings and a strong connection for you. And I feel like they just maybe didn't trust it or they were somebody who, um, again, it's like they maybe needed to go through a lot of changes and transformation before they could kind of be ready for this connection. And so it like, it ended up being a toxic connection because they wanted you in their life, but they also weren't ready. But now I feel like they're ready with the devil in reverse. They've let go of that like toxic aspect of themselves and they're ready to finally commit with the Ace of Pentacles. This person may also kind of give you a gift or, but I feel like this person has been doing a lot financially. They could even be like investing their money, but they're reaping the rewards of it. Definitely. I feel like they've made good choices financially. Um, let's see what their actions are going to be towards you, group three. What is this person's actions going to be towards group three? We have the two of swords. What is this person's actions going to be? We have the six of wands, knight of swords, and the six of cups again, yeah. We have the magician. 
So this person is definitely going to make themselves known to you. They, I feel, they might feel like you're closed off to them. Again, you guys could have either blocked them or detached from this person. You could have walked away from this person. But I do feel like there's strong Leo energy here. Um, but this person definitely, I feel like with the Six of Wands and the Sun is going to make themselves obvious and known to you. They're definitely going to be, they want to stand out. I also feel like they're going to give you a lot of attention. There's going to be a lot of communication that may come in with the Knight of Swords. And I feel like this person, again, they, they're, they're wanting to show you that they're going to invest in this situation with the Seven of Pentacles and the Knight of Swords. Um... They also could seem like if you guys have a choice between people with the Two of Swords, I feel like they're ready to go to battle with that other person. Like they definitely want to prove to you that um, they want this connection. And with the Magician, again, it's like they're definitely, yeah, Magician, Ace of Cups, like they're wanting a new beginning here with you guys. Um, a new beginning in love. And because I feel like they, it's like, they're like, our connection is so strong. Like they, they can pick up on that and they feel that. But again, there may be a lack of trust in this situation because I feel like at one point it was a little bit toxic, a little bit karmic. And it could have been very back and forth. I feel like also this person very much gets a lot of attention. But now they actually want to invest with you. They may also want to have a family with you with the Six of Cups. So I do feel like they're going to be coming in. I, I do feel like they're going to be communicating. They're, again, they're going to be, they could be giving you a lot of attention or showing you a lot of attention. They may want to go out and do things with you. Um, some of you, they may give you a gift. I don't know if I said that already before, but I feel like they might try to like, I don't know, they might like buy you flowers or they might maybe want to take you out for dinner or something like that. Like they're going to really try to like invest into this connection. Like they're going to try and show you that they're interested and show you that they... They want to put in the effort this time. Proper effort. I feel like they want to actually show and express their love. It's like they're able to express their love with the devil in reverse here. It's like they're not holding back how they feel. They're finally able to open themselves up. Because I do get strong like reconciliation vibes here. Definitely somebody from your past. Six of Cups is here twice. But again... You guys always have the choice to take this person back. So if you don't want them back, then that's fine. <laughs> they might still be coming around. Uh, what else do we need to know about this connection here, Spirit? What else do we need to know? We have the Four of Wands, the Five of Swords. What else do we need to know here with this connection? Oops. And we have the Six of Swords. Okay, so I like that. I was worried. I was like, what the heck is this Five of Swords about? So again, this person wants to bring this connection to a better place. Five of Swords, Six of Swords, right? You're moving on from the Five of Swords energy. I feel like there could have been a lot of conflict and drama, possibly arguments even with this person in the past. But I feel like this person wants to move past that. They want to have success with you. They want to have a family, a home with you. Some of you, this person may want to move in with you. Knight of Pentacles, they really want to make things like get, get to a point or have things get to a point where they're stable. They want to take things slow and, and do things the right way. I feel like they've also been planning. Yeah, they've been thinking about this a lot. Nine of Swords, Knight of Pentacles, we have the hanged man behind that. This person has been really thinking and analyzing this situation of how they want to come towards you. This is Five of Swords. What is this Five of Swords here? So I feel like as much as you're like, oh gosh, here they come again. I feel like this person's actually done a lot of reflection and they've gone through a lot of changes. Yeah, the issue could have been they were a little bit impulsive, like in and out of your life. Knight of Wands is clarifying the Five of Swords. I feel like that caused some issues because I feel like we have the Queen of Cups here. It's like they played with your heart. This person, I feel, um, took advantage of the love that you had for them. I feel like they're aware of that. They do want to heal things. They want to move things forward in a better direction. I feel like they also are being guided. They, they really feel this connection on a different level now. But there may be a lack of trust in this connection because of the way that they were in the past. Yeah, it could have even been a third party situation, right? 
that in intervened or was in the way of this connection in the past or this person just never really committed here. Where's the Six of Swords? Clarify the Six of Swords. Oops. Oh boy. We have the Five of Pentacles. This person definitely wants change in this connection. Um, Knight of Pentacles, again, it's like they're trying to bring things out of this Five of Pentacles. I feel like they miss you. They're definitely going to come towards you. There could even be some distance or some travel between the two of you. Like someone may have to travel or there's like, again, you guys might not live in the same home or something like that, which obviously probably not if this person's coming back around to you. What's this five of pentacles? Clarify. We have the queen of wands and the eight of pentacles. Yeah, they've definitely been working on their finances and like getting their practical life, Ten of Pentacles, because they want to be ready for the, This person finds you very attractive, and I feel like they also, again, they've been working really hard to get their finances in order. This person could have had financial issues, and I feel like they're moving on from that. They're in a better place from that, and I feel like that's why they were unable to commit in the past is because they weren't stable in their own life on an individual level. I feel like you, you kind of had your shit together. I feel like this person... Um, there needed to be a separation here so that this person would go through this change and realize what this connection really was, right? So this person I definitely feel is coming back around. I do feel like they've done a lot of work. I do feel like they've changed, but I feel like it's up to you of whether you obviously want to take this person back or whether you feel like uh, you can trust this person because if you can't trust them, there's no point in even trying to get back in the relationship with them because that's always going to be an issue if you can't learn to trust this person. And don't be afraid to take it slow. I feel like this person's okay with taking it slow, but they just really wanna show you how much they've changed. They really wanna show you that they actually wanna invest this time and that things are different this time. They really wanna show you that. So this person I feel like is really motivated to show you um, the work that they've done and they really feel this connection and they really wanna come back around and kind of uh, move things forward, but in a better direction here with this Ace of Pentacles. They want to start something and they want to start fresh, I feel. So that is what I have for you, um, group three. Hopefully that resonated. If there isn't anyone from the past that you either want back or that this even resonates with you, again, you can check out the other piles or just check out one of the other readings that I've done uh, through my YouTube channel. Um, but thank you guys so, so much for watching. I love all of your support. It's greatly, greatly appreciated. Um, I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I will see you all in the next video. Bye.